Hey guys, welcome to LA Love Creative and today we're talking about some lingerie fashion photography tips on how to be a better photographer when it comes to bourgeois or lingerie photography. Let's get it. Now on this channel, you've seen me talk about lingerie, bourgeois, shooting artistic nudes, stuff that you might encounter as a photographer um, in your professional career. Now I've been shooting lingerie and I've been shooting a nude, artistic nudes for a long time. And I'm starting to realize that one of the biggest things I think photographers have a problem with and they really need to work on building a really comfortable work environment. Make sure that the atmosphere is very playful and fun. One of the ways to do this, I like to do this, is I like to make fun of myself. I like to tell funny stories. I like to, you know, show a model the pose before she does it so that the ice is broken, so that it feels a little bit more like hanging out with a friend rather than a really you know, nerve wracking professional shoot. Recently, I shot a model named Chevelle, really awesome model, really fun very comfortable in her own skin. But one of the things I like to do when I'm shooting a model that I don't know is I like to ask questions. I like to get to know them. Now this does not mean flirting or, you know, you know, hitting on them. I just mean talk to them like you would, you know, a best friend and try your best to make the atmosphere as cheery and maybe goofy as possible. Now I was shooting in this awesome location in Koreatown and I was in this studio and it had a lot of different sets and it had a lot of different backgrounds. And another way I really, really like to break the ice when I'm shooting lingerie photography is I like to make sure that this is a collaborative process by making the model feel like they are in control of the images they create. You'd be surprised not only do you create better looking images, but you create images that you're both on the same page with. So in the studio I was shooting, Chevelle, I was like, hey, where do you want to shoot? She's like, let's shoot here, let's do this. Oh, I'll wear this lingerie set here. I'll go over here and do this. It's just really great to let them into the collaboration process. And that way you just really get to know the model and you create really awesome images. Another thing I like to do when I'm shooting lingerie or, you know, bourgeois photography, any of that stuff, I like to let the model bring their own pieces, you know, when it comes to lingerie, but it's good sometimes to have a model bring a lingerie piece that they are used to wearing really feel confident in and it's not such a surprise when they show up because they know exactly what they're gonna wear. Chevelle had this really awesome red lingerie piece. Not only was that perfect for the location because there like was red tones and artwork in the background in this in the studio space, but it turned out great because it was something that I've never shot before and something she felt really comfortable you know shooting in. Speaking of clothing, I think another cool thing that you should do when you're shooting lingerie is to try to hide the body with either a robe, a, you know, a jacket, a blanket, just have something that you can put on the model even when, you know, when they're, when they're, you know, feeling like kind of vulnerable. That way they can block certain parts of their body and they can show what they want to show. It's really cool and I find that it always makes really interesting photos. Another great thing that you can do that will distract someone from feeling nervous if they are nervous is to give a model props. You know, have them play around with whatever's in the studio, whether it be, you know, a this studio had a fake phone, so we shot some video of her on a fake phone. And I find that it really makes a model feel comfortable when they are distracted 
and not really focusing on just taking the pictures. So I think it's awesome to have props to help kind of just distract the model. Now that's all I have to say on tips for lingerie photography, bourgeois photography. So if you have any other tips, let me know in the comments below. And that's all I have to say, so I will see you next time.